this is probably one of the hardest questions on the test because it's not only a systems of equation problem, it's also a word problem. So you're going to see something like 2 times a number plus 10 times a second number. So the first, we'll call it, this is the first number. And then we have the second number. Right? So 2 times a number. We'll just call the first one x. And then we have plus 10 times a second number. And we'll call the second number y. It's all going to equal 20. All right? And then it says 30 times the second number plus 3 times the first number. Now the second number we know was 10y. So when they say 30 times the second number, we have to put that here. 30 times the second number. The second number is y. And then we're adding it to the first number and 3 times the first number. 3 times the first number. So whenever it says 3 times the number, that means 3 multiplied by that number, so we call it 3x. And that one is going to equal 45. And then we just put it as a system, like this, and we say, how do we get these two to be the same? We need to either get the x's to be the same, or we need to get the y's to be the same. The y's are pretty big, so I'm thinking the x's is going to be the easiest route. So let me get an, uh, let's see here. Let's do multiply this side by negative 3 and this side by 2 because we want these to multiply to be opposites. So negative 3 times 2 is 6x, negative 6x. And then negative 3 times 10y is negative 30y. And then you have negative 3 times 20 equals negative 60. And then this one you also distribute all three amongst all three. So 2 times 3x is positive 6x plus 60y equals 2 times 45, which is positive 90. And then you simply just add them together. When you add them together, the, six, the negative 6 and the positive 6 cancel out to be 0x. And 0 times anything is just 0, so we can cancel that out. Negative 30 plus positive 60, we have to find the difference between the two because we're adding a negative and a positive. And the difference is 30. And the, the positive is bigger, so it's positive 30y equals 90. And then we have to figure out the difference between 90 and 60, because, we're, again, we're doing a, a negative and a positive. And it's 30, and the positive is, again, bigger. So we have 30y equals 30. And we divide by 30, and y is going to equal 1. And that is how you solve for y. And so now we know what y is. We know that y is 1. And so we're going to plug it back in. We're going to say 2x plus 10y, and but we're going to plug in 1 for y, because we know that's what y is, equals 20. So we're going to have 2x plus 10 equals 20. Divide, uh, I mean, sorry, subtract 10 from both sides. And we're going to have 2x equals 10. And I'm going to rewrite it over here so we have more room. Equals 10. Or divide both sides by 2. And x equals 5. So And then the final, final answer, you always have to write it in coordinate form in terms of x and y, and we know that x is 5 and the y is 1, and so that is the final, final, final answer. All right? So remember, when you're doing a word problem systems of equations, you have to see what it says. You have to look for a number and a second number. So, and then you just, when, whenever you see a 10 times a second number, that's what you write for y. You always make the y the second number, and the first number you always make x, and whatever it equals, you just make it equal to it, and then you solve it as as you would if you were doing a multiplication system of equation elimination and that is how you solve these kinds of problems